yesterday the first family countered Babuwen's documentary with their own documentary known as From Among Them. We all know that Bobby Wayne went to the United States of America to premiere his, doc he, his documentary, which was touching on how he sacrificed his life to fighting for freedom in Uganda. In fact, this documentary was trying to portray how Uganda's elections were uh, held in 2021. But at the same time, even the government premiered the first, uh, the first daughter's documentary, uh, which was uh, done by Nat Natasha Karugire on the same day. It was also documenting uh, the 1980 war, which brought this government to power. So we must ask ourselves, why is it that these two documentaries were premiered at the same time? I, I always tell you that in politics, nothing is done by mistake. We all know that the documentary for the first daughter uh, put out his trailer, I think, two months back. Okay, And the documentary for Bob One has, be, has been in the making ever since we, we ended the 2021 general election. But at the day of the premiere, they decided to put them at the same date. So in, this, in today's episode, I've come to unpack for you as to why these different documentaries were premiered at the same time. But before I proceed... I would want to ask you that if you're watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. So, four days back, Bobby Wayne went to the United States to premiere his documentary, which put out what he passed through during the 2021 general elections. This documentary was, uh, was filmed by an American video company. Let me first give you the sneak peek of this documentary. I met Bobby at university. I didn't know he was a musician. He was different. I didn't have so many dreams. She impacted my life. She made me realize we had to impact other lives. I've come to parliament and taken an oath to protect the constitution of Uganda. Somebody had to speak for us. People thought I had the loudest voice. Again, one more confident time. This year's presidential election could see 71-year-old President Museveni serve a fifth term in office. No leader has ever handed over power peacefully. This is a military regime dressed in a civil facade. We have the Honorable Bobby Wine with us. As a matter of fact, I will why is my husband held in a military barracks? If I could see him, then I would know what I am actually dealing with. Our Bobby should be the least. I would rather represent the resilience of Ugandans. We stand for equality and dignity for everybody. We are non-violent and we continue to preach non-violence. I am not a criminal. I am a presidential candidate. Nothing will stop him. We must get our freedom or we shall die trying. We are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. So that was Bob Wayne's documentary. Although I was also surprised that during uh, at the same day when Bob Wayne was premiering 
his documentary. The first daughter also premiered a documentary which was talking about the liberation struggle. Let me also first give you the sneak peek of this documentary which was headed by the first daughter, Natasha Karugire, before we proceed. However, tonight's film is an amalgamation, a summarized version of those eight parts, meaning numerous interviews aren't included and the story is abridged for the purposes of screening. For Natasha, storytelling holds immense significance as she ensures future generations grasp the trajectory of the nation, the sacrifices made, and the freedoms bestowed by the efforts of the remarkable individuals. Among those featured in her documentary series is Jim Mohwezi, the Cabinet Minister for National Security, who served as the head of civil intelligence during the Bush War. He underscores the importance of these stories in shaping the nation's history. So, this is my thinking. One, Bobby Wayne was documenting the atrocities, the unconstitutional behaviors which we are seeing in the 2021 general election. And if they left this chance to only him, this movie could take up more, uh, more space in the social media without them countering it. You know, our go this government, in most cases, it is reactionary. It first waits for something to happen so that they can counter it. Since this Bob Wayne's documentary was documenting about the atrocities and, and what happened in the 2021 general elections, it also produced a, a space for the government to, to counter it with another documentary. And the best way to counter it with another documentary was by premium, premiering a documentary known as From Among Us, which documents the 1980 uh, revolution. Putting out these two documentaries, one, the government was ensuring on how to say this documentary. You just imagine if uh, the, f the first daughter premiered his documentary, her documentary, on, the, on a different day. Maybe it, it, will, it will not attract as much attention as it would attract when the two documentaries were outed at the same time. By outing these two documentaries, one, the first family was looking at how to say this, uh, their product. And there was no better way of selling this product by battling it out with the Bob Wayne documentary. Two, it also gave out an opportunity of giving the masses an alternative option. What do I mean by this? This Bob Wayne documentary was, is portraying Bob Wayne as a liberator, as someone who sacrificed his life. So it it is it was it is it was also the best time for the first family to to portray their father, who is the sitting president, as the liberator of the country. Secondly, there were there, there is also political undertones. Truth be said, Bob Wayne has an upper hand when it comes to social media and some international mainstream media. So. The government is trying to close that gap by countering every effort Bob Wayne is doing, either internationally or locally. Of course, that is my opinion. You can also tell me your opinion by commenting on this video. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. Peace.